Howdy everybody, took a trip over to the Bahamas for work and decided to do some diving while I was over there. Starting here, I was a little too impatient waiting for the immigration officer to clear us, so I put on my mask and hopped in the water underneath my boat. This couple little mangrove snapper came up to me and gave them a wave. And I find the world's smallest black grouper on this piece of debris here is probably about 7 inches in the middle there. They happen to get quite a lot bigger than that. I was in about 40 foot of water here, just a straight vertical wall. Expected to have a lot more sea life around here, but there's not a lot of current that gets this far back into the port, so it's pretty barren. Going down here, I see these two schoolmaster snapper pretty small, they're just hanging out around these giant bundles of tires. These tires either fell off somebody's boat or fell off the seawall a while ago, but there's still a couple thousand dollars in tires that are just sitting down here. So after the immigration officer cleared us the next morning, I went ahead off the beach into some much, much cleaner water. The visibility was just absolutely stunning, there was 60, 70 foot of visibility on the first day here. Had this barracuda following me for a good distance while I was swimming off the beach. I'm not sure if he thought I couldn't see him, but took a pop down to say hi to him. The Bahamas is just chock full of barracuda and sharks, so it's kind of important to be on the lookout, make sure you see them before they see you. Never saw any sharks on the first day, but that wasn't the case for the following ones. So about three quarters of a mile off the beach, I find my first little couple set of rocks. Took a dive down, there wasn't anything too interesting, there was a couple parrot fish and a couple small trigger fish, but I was holding out to shoot something a little bigger on the lines of a hogfish or a grouper for today. Sadly, I couldn't notice it while I was diving, but my GoPro was pointed a little too far down. So, a lot of this footage is going to be about 15 degrees below what I'm actually seeing, which messes it up a little bit. Make sure not to touch the very delicate coral with my man hands there. Just kind of sitting around waiting for something to come in. Don't really see anything worthwhile. You got that little trigger fish swimming there. So I just keep swimming around, bouncing between rocks, and then eventually I find this barracuda out in the middle of the sand, so I went over to him, check out what he had, and he was stalking this school of about five or six hogfish. You, you see their little white silhouettes on the bottom there, they keep turning on their sides to look up at me. And hogfish are very domicile creatures, they also run in schools, but it's odd to see them out in the middle of the sand, they're usually traveling between reefs. So I wasn't going to dive on them until they found where they wanted to settle down at, otherwise they'd just run away from me. So I was following them for about two minutes until they made their way over to the rocks here. The entire time I'm just moving very slow, taking my time, not in a rush. Kind of mapping out my plan once the hogfish get over there. See that little boulder in the top there that's off a little bit away from everything else I was going to take a dive on and then slowly work my way over. Now, on the way down, I was so focused on the hogfish, I actually don't end up seeing a pretty good-sized mutton snapper that's sitting on the boulder I'm about to land on. See him right there in the bottom. And I look over and see the hogfish are actually on the other side of the rock, so I skip the boulder and just travel the extra 10 foot to the big rock. Just moving real slow and calm, not making any aggressive moves. I actually have one of the medium-sized hogfish come over and check me out. And then right on top of the rock here, which you can't see, is one of the bigger ones. And I was debating even shooting it, because I didn't realize how big it was until it tried to run away with me and my pole spear. This is probably about a 23-inch hogfish. It was real nice. See that mutton snapper off in the distance there, too. 
Now it's important to go ahead and get your fish controlled and probably killed as soon as possible here so you don't attract more barracudas and sharks to you. I was actually expecting the barracuda that will you'll see him off to the right here. I was expecting him to come up and start harassing me. So just go ahead and stab him the fish in the brain here. I actually forgot how much head meat these guys have, so I keep inching my knife forward trying to find out where his brain is. Still on the lookout to make sure nothing's running its way to come and take my fish. Eventually find its brain right there and put him out of his misery. Sitting here admiring the fish, I honestly didn't think it was this big. It was pretty massive, it fed me for all three days I was there. So after that I started swimming in and I saw this massive mutt snapper in the top there as so I was probably in about 10 foot of water, maybe less. He was just eating all these little bait fish that were running around these rocks. So I'm sitting here trying to manage this fish and my spear and holding onto rocks to get the fish to come over to me. So eventually I breathe up, take a dive down. And I try and post up on this rock, make some grunt noises, get the snapper to come back to me. And it's really hard to hold onto the rock when one hand's full of fish and the other has a spear in it, so I'm hanging on by my fingertips trying to hide behind the fish. And I'm just so uncomfortable, I just come up back to the top and realize I'll just head home with what I got. So I keep swimming along the jetty, going back in, looking for paired fish or maybe some something that's just sitting in a rock that acting real stupid I can take with me. Just kind of swimming over and inspecting, just randomly I find this 30 tooth cog sitting there. I kind of brushed over it at first, but after re-watching this, it was real bizarre for it to just be sitting there by itself. There's no other machines or anything nearby. Ended up finishing the first day with this nice hogfish. Didn't record me filleting or cooking it as I didn't see the appeal of me crouched over a fish on the beach like a goblin while holding a knife. Ended up giving half the fish to the owners of the Airbnb I was staying at and turned the other half into a big bowl of ceviche that was breakfast for three days. Speaking of that, if you're looking for a vacation stay in Freeport, Bahamas, I'll have the link for the Airbnb I was at. Very amiable people and it was a really comfy room for $70 a night. Got two more days of diving footage to turn into videos here, so stay tuned for those. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to be notified when I post my new videos, I'd appreciate you hitting the subscribe button. And if you could, toss a like on the video as well.